Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Prayer is designed to work for you and not against you. Let me say that again. Prayer is designed to work for you, not against you. The word of God was designed to work for you, but when you cross up the rules, it is like you trying to play hockey with football rules. It does not work that way. So, when we use the wrong rules in prayer, it begins to cause trouble. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's go to James chapter 2. Let's start with verse number 8. Philippians, sorry, Philippians chapter 2. And being found in fashion as a man, Jesus humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That is the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Jesus coming to this planet earth as man humbled himself emptied himself of his glory from God to man and became even obedient unto death and he died on the cross. Therefore, God through his obedience, his humility has exalted him and God has given him a name which is above every name. Praise God. So God gave that name to Jesus and Jesus has given us his name. That at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. Not only the things in heaven, things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. Praise God. So Jesus has been highly exalted. He has been given a name above every name. And he has given that name to us to control the forces of evil. So the authority of this earth has been given to man. And now with that authority, we have authority to petition God by prayer and move the forces of heaven in our behalf. Can you imagine the tremendous power that God has given us, His authority, His, His, His name? So we have authority in prayer by the words of our mouth to bind evil forces, the powers of darkness, and render them powerless, harmless, ineffective against us. So remember, we do not need more power, we just need to apply the spiritual laws that God has given us. Let me repeat again. We do not need more power, we just need to apply the spiritual laws that God has given us. Let's go to John 16.23. John 16 23 and in that day you shall ask of me nothing verily verily I say unto you whatsoever you ask the father in my name he will give it to you 
Now he did not say whatsoever you ask according to the will of God shall the Father give in my name. No, no, no. He said whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he shall give it to you. Let's take one more scripture. Mark 16. 16 to 20. He that believeth, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Are you a believer? Good. And these signs shall follow them that pray. He never said pray. These signs shall follow them that believe. So there is a time to believe. And what you believe, you begin to say. So in my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So then after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of God. And they went forth and preached everywhere. They went forth and preached everywhere. They did not go home. They went and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them. The Lord working with them is the Holy Ghost. And through the Holy Spirit, there was confirmation of the word which was preached with signs and wonders following. So, this power and authority to cast out demons, to lay hands on the sick and be healed. This power is given to everyone who believes in Jesus. And therefore, with our believing in this divine power, you will find that the Lord working mightily, that the Lord was working with them, Rendering the kingdom of darkness totally harmless, totally ineffective against us. Thank you, Jesus. So, Mark 11, 24, now mixing all these things together. Jesus said, what things soever you desire when you pray, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So, first is desire, but he never said, if it is God's will, it, it is your, your desire. When you pray, believe that you receive them. So, God did not speak anything about his will, but it is we who speak about them. Hallelujah. So, it, when you say, if it is God's will, it would in it would uh, contradict the interpretation of 1 John 5.14. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, God wants His Word to abide in us. Let's go to John 15.7. Now, let's go to another witness. Jesus said, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, if my words abide in you, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what God wills. No, he never said that. He said, ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. It does not say a thing about God's will. It is talking about what is your will. But if the word of God abides in you, then you are going to frame your prayer accurately according to the word of God and you are not going to pray for things that you know are not the will of God. So when I know that this person has been living a wrong life but praise God now he can improve or she can improve and make a great future. What has happened has happened. 
that's the past buried and forgiven praise god so john 15:7 again jesus said if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask what you will and it shall be done to you so father in the name of jesus i thank you praise you lord for the beautiful gift thank you thank you thank you for touching each and every one of us thank you for building us up thank you jesus that even as i'm speaking there are so many who have been going through different kinds of virus and sickness in the name of jesus i curse them and i command them to die right from the root thank you lord for the gift of life for the gift of inventing the vaccination that will kill this virus completely thank you jesus thank you jesus my friend the word of god says i can do all things through jesus who strengthens me i believe in the name of jesus you are touched you are transformed thank you lord for transforming his life and building up his life we thank you we praise you in jesus name amen thank you jesus praise you jesus.